In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to configure BuddyBoss forums. I'm also going to answer a lot of questions that come up frequently about what is a forum, what's the difference between a forum and a group, can a forum be set up to be standalone. We got a lot of questions around this topic and I'm going to cover as much as I can in this video. So the first question that comes up sometimes is basically what is a forum? What's the difference between a forum and an activity feed? And you can really think of a forum as like a message board. It's basically a place online where people can hold conversations in the form of posted messages. And this differs from an activity feed because an activity feed is kind of a never ending feed of content and stuff gets buried at the bottom. Whereas in a forum, everything is structured around specific questions and answers. So just to show that off, let's go into a uh, group that has a forum in it and we can see it has structured discussions. So here's one discussion I could click to add a new discussion and they'll all be structured here. And when I open the discussion, we can see it has some content and other users can reply to it. So it's very organized and structured. And generally each title is a specific question or topic that the person who posts it wants people to reply to. Whereas in an activity feed, as I mentioned, it's just kind of a never ending feed, which you can participate in and add comments to, but it's kind of disorganized and important content can very easily get buried. Okay, and the next question that comes up a lot is what is the difference between a forum and a group? And I understand where this confusion comes from because a forum can be connected to a group, but you can basically think of a group as a place where people can connect through their shared interests, whereas a forum is a place where people can have discussions based on specific topics. And a forum can be standalone, which I'll show later, or a forum can be attached to a group. All right, so with that introduction, let's go ahead into some demos where I show you how to set things up. So on this site, we don't have anything enabled yet. So I'm going to go to components and I'm going to enable forums. I'm also going to enable groups because forums and groups have a kind of special relationship in that forums can be attached to groups. Let me go quickly into my menu section. Now we can see that we have group and forum pages that we can add to our menu. So let's do that. And when I refresh this, we have those but of course we don't have any forum content yet. So let's go ahead and create some forums. So if I go into Buddy Boss tools, you'll see that now we have options to import groups with forums or just forums standalone. So let's just import some forums with discussions and replies and refresh our forums page. So now you can see we have some forums and these discussions are discussions that are nested within these forums. So if I open up a forum, you can see this forum is not attached to a group. A forum can be created standalone. And if I open up a discussion in the forum, it has the ability to have replies and you can reply to the discussions. If I go in the back end and I go into forums, we can see the forums listed on the front end also appear in the back end. And every forum has the same basic hierarchy that the form itself contains discussions and the discussions contain replies. So these are discussions. And if I open one, these are the replies. And so in the back end, we have forums and you can go to discussions and see discussions. And then you can click on replies and see those two. So it's accessible in the back end and the front end. And this discussion says which forum it's coming from. And then if I go back to the forums index, we can also see that our default data, we created a hidden forum, a private forum, and a public forum. So if I go in the back end and go to forums and we open one, you can see the forum has some different statuses. So it can be open or closed and it can be hidden, public or private. So what does that all mean? So a public forum is kind of the default status. A public forum means anybody on the site can join it and people who are logged out, assuming your site is open to the public or visible to the public, people who are logged out can see it, but they have to be logged in to participate in it. All right, if I go into a forum that's private, so private, you can change the status in the back end. The private forum, if I go logged out and view it, you can't actually access it. So. The private forum is only for people who are logged into the network to be able to see it. Then if I go into a forum that is hidden, let me go to the members directory real fast. 
and I'll just log in as some random subscriber. All right, so when I come back to forums directory, she can't even see the hidden forum. So she can see the public forum and she can see the private forum, but she cannot see the hidden one. The hidden forum is only available to users who some way, somehow have been added into that forum. So let's switch back to the admin. And then we also have the status of open or closed. So let's just go to forums and we'll go to this public forum and you'll see that I can have discussions and reply. If I set the status to closed, then the forum is no longer open for discussions and people cannot participate in it anymore. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and create a new forum from the back end. Okay, and I can make the visibility public and let's publish it. Now when I go to the forums page, my forum shows up, but there's no discussions yet. I could create the first discussion right here if I want to. Let's just go ahead and do that. And I'll post it. Now we have our first discussion and people can participate in that. And you'll notice here we have this parent tab. You can actually organize forums into a kind of parent-child relationship where a forum has sub-forums. So let's make the public forum a parent of this one. So I'm gonna update that. And now when I go back to our forums directory, it doesn't really show up here anymore. If I go to public forum, you can see it has children forums in it. I could click on Mike's forum and that's kind of a sub-forum to the parent forum now. It's organized in that way. So let's go back into this forum and we can see we have some discussions. We can open a discussion. And there's some other stuff we can do in here as well. I can close the discussion and that means no one's going to be able to reply to it anymore. I can make it sticky or super sticky. Sticky, let me just click it. And then when I come back here, we can see this is sticky and now it's at the top. So if you had a bunch of discussions here, then the one that's sticky is gonna be at the top. That way if someone asks some question and people answer it and you think that's really important, you want people to be able to reference it anytime, you just make it sticky and it'll always be at the top. I'm gonna to open this one and I'm gonna make it super sticky, which as you can imagine, just makes it even stickier than the regular sticky. So it sticks it even higher at the top. And then you can also favorite it and so that's for yourself. If I go into my profile dropdown forums, I can go to my favorites. And in here, I can see all the ones that I favorited. I can also go into my replies and see any replies I've made. I haven't made any yet. If I go to subscriptions, I won't have any yet. Let's go back to forums and click one. And I'm going to subscribe. So now I'm subscribed to this forum. And if I go back to subscriptions, you can see I'm subscribed to that one. So what that means is whenever there's replies going on in that forum, I'm gonna be emailed about those. I'm basically following this forum. Now you'll notice that the forum's homepage doesn't look as cool as the homepage here in our demo. This layout is coming from our theme. So we have a tutorial that you can watch separately that shows how do you configure all this. If you go into Body Boss theme options, if you're using our theme, and then go into forums, you have all kinds of options here to configure how this looks to make it look cool. And we have another video showing how to do that. I'm gonna show you another cool thing, which is threaded replies. So if I go into settings and forums, we have a lot of options in here. Most of them you don't really need to change, but some things you might be interested in is the amount of forums, discussions, and replies per page and also you can rename the slugs. So those are the URLs up here. You can retitle them from discussion to topic or something if you want. But the thing I wanted to show you here is reply threading. So we have that enabled by default and you can pick how many deep you want it to be. This is something that people ask for all the time is um, how to con configure the threading. So let me just basically go into a discussion and I'm going to reply to Charles.
and you can see that my reply is kind of indented and I'll reply again and it indents again. So that's threaded replies. That's configured here and you can pick how many levels deep you want to allow the threading. So now that we have a nice overview of how to use forums, I wanna show how to attach forums to groups. So let me first go back into our tool section and just create some groups and I'm going to give them forums. All right, that's done. Let's come back here and go to groups. You can see we have some groups now. And if I open up, let's say this group, you can see I have discussions and this group has a forum discussion attached to it. So the discussion now, the forum area, is working just the same as when it was standalone, except now it's just nested into a group. So that if you join the group, then you automatically are joined into the forum. And logically, structurally, they're tied together, so it's visually obvious what's going on. So now people who are in this group are creating discussion topics, but those are for people who are in this group so I can open up one of the discussions. And it's the same as if it was standalone, but you can see it's presented still within the group now. And when we manage the group, you'll see that the group has some privacy settings. So you can see the group can be public, private, or hidden. The forum status, we went through before about forums can be public, private, or hidden. The forum status is going to be inherited from this. So if the group is public, then the forum will be public. If the group is hidden, then the forum will be hidden. And then if we go into discussions, still under manage, here we can see that I've checked, yes, I want this group to have a discussion forum, and here's the forum attached to it. So that was automatically done when we created the default data. But when you create a new group, it gives you this option as well, where you can check if you want it to have a discussion forum. And if you check yes, then it will automatically create a forum and attach it to that group. So if we go back into the settings here, you'll see enable group forums. That's what's allowing this to happen. If you uncheck this, then groups no longer can contain forums and all your forums have to be standalone. So then the last thing I wanna to touch on is media. So if I come back into settings and click on media, and we can enable things for forums. So uploading photos into forum discussions, uploading emoji into forum discussions. And if you connect Giphy, I show another video, you can connect that to forum discussions. So let's save this. And we'll come back here and go to discussions. And now I'm gonna open up a forum thread. And when I reply, I can now add an emoji or I can upload media into my reply. So if I go back to here and open up a discussion, we can see some example of media that's been attached into the forum thread.